is a new series, The Atom Split Chronicles, Episode 1, The Way of the Shelf. And the joining me, the, shelf. the Way of the this, Shelf. Yeah, I am Sandman99. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what the fuck The Way of the Shelf is, well, um, you can build shelves. And, uh, well... I did something kind of fun, and I want to show you what I did, kids. I'm not going to show you the shelves themselves, but I'm level 15. How did I accomplish this? Why did I accomplish this? Who knows? I'm level 15. I accomplish this. Okay. And I can hear myself because there's feedback loop now, and yes. I have 10 in every stat. I, to, I forgot to turn my volume down. That's okay. First time jitters are a must. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to do what we always do, which is one in hacker. I can oh, still hear myself. At, you, are, you are starting at uh, more than level one? Yeah, because of the way of the shelf. I didn't have to waste any points on sh any of this stuff. Because the thing I did to make the game uh, more enjoyable for myself, not for anyone else, just for me, was to do this. You'd already got like ten and everything. Wow. Yep. Okay. And oh wow, action girl. Oof. Look at me go. What an action girl. We're gonna have to have something in uh, armor. And of course, who could survive without being a medic in this shithole? And we're gonna do some. So here's the thing, I, I'm split between using a rifle for, for medium and far, and using a pistol for close range rather than melee. So, because I don't want to use... Yeah, usually what I do before I commit to one style or another is I spend a few perks on the crafting things, like gun nut, armor, blacksmith. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if I find a good legendary weapon, then I'll usually... Uh, start tailoring my uh, my weapon perks toward that weapon instead, right? And we need all the this way, this, none of that this shit. way uh, yeah, this way you can uh, kind of uh, fix up any weapon that you pick up to be reasonably effective until you decide. Right? And you don't have to decide right away. That is correct. So what we're gonna do is Oh, you've never seen Sanctuary before. I'm so sorry. Sam and Nine has never seen Sanctuary. I have so. Maybe no, not you your haven't. sanctuary. Oh, and my radio was turned off. Those scamps at Bethesda. Oh, okay. You've got some uh, Creation Club stuff going on here. This is not the Creation Club, my friend. Oh. You got a Super Duper Mart sign? This is Sanctuary. Ah. It's a mod. It doesn't add a lot, I'll admit, but uh, what it does do is it makes a post in Sanctuary that is quite easily defendable. Now, I'm going to have to do a lot of stuff off screen to clean this place up and make it look more presentable for you boys at home. You know, being a good little Susie housemaker here, but we're going to do that off screen. So, first we're going to do is this. Keen, keen jelly bean. Now we're going to make some modifications to this gun, because I don't think it's going to cut it. Yeah, well, you'll probably have to upgrade it a little bit, although, uh, like, I'm not sure what's going to happen if you started at level 15, then you might start meeting uh, enemies that are leveled accordingly to your level right away, too, right? Oh, yes. Things are going to be quite fun, in indeed. And I have a lot of resources, as you can see. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pretty much uh, unlimited to do whatever you want. Yes. And we're gonna we're gonna see my legendary Pip Boy skin. Check that out. That is the Overseer Pip Boy skin. It's a creation club thing. But now that I have mods enabled, I want to check out all those different uh, modded Pip Boys. 
Because I did yeah. see some pretty cool ones that you have. So I'm envious and I want to try that out next time. Yeah, but... there's, a, there's a ton of Pip-Boy skins, eh? You know, like you can change. There's even, I think, maybe one or two where instead of it being a thing you wear on your wrist, it's like a tablet. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I've seen them. I've, I, I've never tried them personally, but I've seen them out there, right? He's a demon. He's so it looks like powerful receiver is going to be the best thing that you can do right now. And uh, since you've got unlimited resources, well, you might as well put uh, uh, some kind of a better sight on that thing, too. Yeah, like a reflex sight. That way, uh, it just helps. It's a little easier to aim with than, uh, than the, the basic iron, iron sights, right? Yeah, put the compensator on there. Hmm. It looks like, oh, nice. Yeah. This is Mr. Shooty Pants. <laughs> I actually have quite a few. Paint. Yeah, this yeah. is from the Creation Club. I, I've had it for a long time. I usually yeah. go with either the Volt Tech or the Hot Rod ah. Shark. I don't suppose you can hear the radio any at all. No, I can't hear it. That's okay. It makes the game more interesting for me. In my rock, it's six to nine. Now we still have four action points, and by action points, of course, I mean uh, skills. Yep. We're not going to rush in anything, though. We're going to talk to Kodzi. Okay. Yeah. How does this this mod affect the opening? sequence where you go around and shoot the blow flies and stuff are they still there absolutely Codsworth. oh man do i love popsicles he's sean's been kidnapped i'm gonna find him i'm gonna get my baby back it's worse than i thought Yes, not eating properly will do that for two. <laughs> two hundred years? More like two hundred and ten, actually. Are you sure? Yeah. A bit over two hundred and ten. Anyway, I haven't played this opening in a while because I use a random start mod, so I start uh, usually all over the place, right? When I play the game, just because it's. Uh, a little bit more of a challenge and what I tend to do is I'll tend to play in that particular area where I start for a long time until I've exhausted most of the possibilities in that area right? I mean doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again is kind of boring I will agree with that yeah well in some of them too you end up in such a predicament like uh, there's one where you can start in the, the crater of Adam in the middle of the glowing sea. God and, damn. Uh, Do you have to, and, is there a way to survive that, or you just have to luck and run? Actually, uh, I tried about three different builds before I figured it out, but pretty much you need to start off as, uh, as of course, it gives you uh, different choices as to what you can uh, uh, be, sort of almost like a character class similar to uh, Fallout New Vegas, right? And uh, what one of the better choices is, is either uh, um, Institute Escapee or uh, Escape Institute Synth or something like that, because uh, then you end up starting off with, um, you know, like some equipment that gives you a base uh, defense against radiation, because that's a pretty tough thing to start off with you know like basically what you have to do is get out of the glowing sea as quickly as possible before you get irradiated to death right oh i was gonna tell you something that i forgot um i'm so sorry and i'm not trying to interrupt you or change what you're saying because i'm actually interested but fallout 2 is about to be uh free 
on March 7th, Fallout 2 will be free in honor oh, really? of the Fallout TV series coming out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I would pick it up if you don't already have it. It's a pretty fun game. Hard as shit, though. Hard as shit. Yeah, I think I've seen some footage of it. It looks, it's, it's, it looks uh, quite a bit different. Thanks for help, Codsworth. Than, uh, you know, like what we're familiar with. So here you are talking with Codsworth again. See, I might tend to ramble a little bit too because since I have my volume turned down to avoid that feedback issue, mm -hmm. I can't I can't hear what's going on in the game, right? Mm. So, uh, you know, like uh, sometimes. Uh, my timing might be a little off, or I might be talking over top of something, or whatever, right? Okay, so it looks like you got some guard towers here. So, yep. uh, is the is the bridge restored a little bit, or is it still... Like, no, the bridge is still guard? a piece of shit. Yeah. I could do another Sanctuary mod to restore Sanctuary and put it on, but I don't want to... I don't want to test the devil. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's the problem with, uh, you know, like if you're playing on console, you have to be careful how many mods you uh, download or you might end up running out of disk space. Oh, no, I wasn't oh. sure that the mods would be compatible oh, with each other. Oh, Get yeah, it. yeah, there is that, because, too. Well, uh, that being said, though, it's uh, the, the, the uh, uh, mod no. installer that you have really. for uh, mods on the on Bethesda.net are, are is, they are actually a pretty it is a pretty user friendly kind of a thing so if mm -hmm. you install them you, you just have to pay attention and I think you'd find out pretty quickly if you installed the bridge fix uh, you'd find out pretty quickly if it conflicted with the other thing going on in the sanctuary and then you could just uninstall it again right? yeah you could do that yeah. and uh, you know like you might want to try doing that on a different save game so that you don't wreck this one mm -hmm. okay then but uh Let's you know like together. usually that's what i do is uh you know, like I'll, I'll have a couple of uh sort of secondary save games and if i want to install a new mod and if i'm not sure if it's going to conflict with something else i've already got then i'll i'll play with one of the side uh saves first and that way, if it looks like there's going to be a problem, well, it doesn't get baked into my main save, right? Well, yeah, making multiple save files is usually the way to go as well, you know. Well, no, what I'm talking about is you'd, you'd, you'd start up a different save game with a different character. No, no, I understand for, that, just, so you don't for, break just this for one. The purpose, yeah, just of for testing. the purpose of, of testing, yeah. I have a character for that. His name is Danger, and he looks pretty funny. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't name him Guinea Pig or something. No, he, he's uh, he's Dan Danger. Uh, Dan Danger, yeah. Where are those mole rats? Oh, there they are. You gotta shoot those mole rats. Shoot him dead. Just like the gophers in Saskatchewan. <laughs> <clears throat> I knew you'd find that funny. Yeah, well, actually, though, uh, most, most farmer types in Saskatchewan that shoot gophers, they just use a 22 to do that. <laughs> well, I don't have access to a 22 yet. <laughs> oh, do you actually have a 22 in this game? No, but I mean. <laughs> I don't. I haven't had access to the equivalent of what a twenty-two would be, you know. Yet. Only gun I've had access to so far is this one, unless you wanted to go on any of the side paths. But I need to get my face, because this is not my character's face. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You've seen me play the game. Hmm. I need my face. Actually. Actually, I'm not too sure what exactly you're talking about, but... Oh, you'll see. Also, I made everything uh, kind of black and white, 
just because I think it gives it like an old timey feel. And I've been watching a lot of monster movies lately, so I've been feeling nostalgic. Yeah, I noticed you're not just using the plain old uh, default green and, and that or blue kind of or thing, yellow. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, especially if you watched a lot of my other videos, you notice that uh, I typically tend to do that one way or the other. Okay, let's see how bad I am at this. I don't know. Can you even pick that lock? Did you spend any perks on lock picking? I sure did. I spent two perks on uh, lock picking. Okay, well then you can pick that lock. Yeah, there you go. You just there you go. Now you got a pipe pistol. If you so want. The it. thing I'm confused about is shouldn't there be uh, welding goggles and a bandana in here? There was, or there should be on top of that dresser upstairs on top of the that's dresser they, upstairs that's where they, yeah on top of the dresser upstairs it's not there though no no See that? up the stairs again no, i i know it's a, the dresser, but they're a not there of, oh uh yeah no they're not did there you, did you grab them already i did not oh well weird huh yeah that is strange i'll have to fix that later i don't know how do you fix that <laughs> oh well, it's a long, boring, convoluted, cheating. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Oh, well. It doesn't matter that much. There are plenty of red bandanas and welding goggles in the game anyway. I miss the I'm bird. Sure, I'm, I'm sure you'll find another one sometime in the next, you know, like, half an hour, right? Don't mess with Mr. In-Between. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Don't shoot bats from here. It's not worth it. Of course, it was at a critical. That's yeah, but that's that's why you put the uh, the sight on there so that you can do some manual aiming when you're at ranges that are kind of questionable for bats. Quick scoping is not working. You might have noticed that your best um, hit chance there was sixty two percent. Oh yeah, even with a uh, like a natural. That's, did you hear how I there, said natural? See, that's that's what the that's what the uh, reflex sight on the gun is for. Is when you're too far away to get a decent hit chance at bats, then you can just aim manually, right? He was moving. <laughs> oh, don't waste your bullets doing that, boy. <laughs> Bullets are uh, not an issue. Well, you've only got 47 more after you reload this thing, you'll have less. Right? Which leg do you think you'd miss more? Oh, I, I would say go for, yeah, go for the highest uh, hit chance, basically. That's what I do. <clears throat> Preston, you're not important. Stop pretending you are. Yeah. Yeah, you'd probably like uh, the Wastelander's friend then, hey? If you like to aim at uh, limbs and stuff like that. Well, that's also why I like the last minute so much. Yeah, I know, but you're not going to find that for a long time yet. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you think, huh? We'll see. <clears throat> Well, I mean, you've got to be able to uh, play through this long enough. Like, I would say that you've got... Uh, you know, I if, predict if you... in the next episode it might appear. I predict. I don't know. If, you, if you rush, I suppose. Depends on how long you make your episodes, too, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't have my face yet, so I need to protect my image. I can't have people see all these atrocities I commit and show my face. That would just be non de grasse. Oh, really? You just, wow. just until I get my face. Oh. You ever come across the Minuteman and it was a ghoul? Uh, that doesn't just jump Start right out at me, no, now. but... Uh... The first time I ever played this game, it was a ghoul. Really? Yeah, and if you've ever played Fallout 3, Fallout 1, 2, or New Vegas, because I never played Tactics, you would think that to be very odd when you first start in this game with no information on it, 
because the entire Fallout universe is extremely racist. <laughs> Not even other ghouls like ghouls, except for one ghoul in New Vegas you'll meet, who's there specifically to have sex with other ghouls. <laughs> Actually, I think you've already met him, because you did the the rocket quest. Yeah. He's like, I'm here for all the fine ghoulettes. And you're like, what? Yeah. He's like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. He he says, well, maybe I actually would have to tell you. <laughs> well, you're getting a piss shot out of you now. That's okay. It won't last. Hey, that guy's wearing my face. Let's go kill him. Pro tip for the, those out there who actually like to wear... Sorry, who actually like to use vats. If you hit your target and you don't want to wait for the slowdown, just hit circle to cancel it after the guy's dead. Okay, yeah. there, I'm not well, hiding my pretty face anymore. Yeah, now you got your welding goggles, right? Yeah, yeah my face. I'm wearing my face. Oh. It's, uh, exactly. did someone just beat the shit out of my dog? I don't know, maybe. You okay, buddy? Well, as soon as I finish doing this down here, I'm gonna go teach that person a lesson. Yeah, well, you did, you did kind of rush through here and you missed somebody, right? Well, I've only killed two people. There's a lot more people that, that need to die. Don't worry about it. Yeah, except that they might come up and shoot you in the back while you're hacking this terminal or something. No, when you hack terminals, it literally freezes time. As long as you can get to the terminal and someone's not shooting you while you're trying to do it. Time is effectively stopped. See, you need to get the mod they have on here for uh, hacking and lockpicking, too. Yeah, but I actually like doing this. Like, I don't know what it is, but repetitive motion, I enjoy. I'm in. Well, you've narrowed it down to one word now. That The funny thing is, sometimes when I... If you've ever seen any of my streams, sometimes I don't realize I'm doing it, and I keep trying to hack, and I'm like, what's wrong? It's like, oh, there's only one answer left. <laughs> yes. Well, you know what? I got the mod, because that way... Because I don't like the word game, and... Uh... I'd rather just uh, get on with it. Yes, get on with it. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> get on with it. Where is this raider and where is dog meat? Well, there's usually a raider hanging around down in that area. You know, like where the floor's fallen into the basement there. Oh, is he right over here? Oh, dog yeah. meat killed him. Probably. I take it back. Dog meat didn't kill. Yeah, just kill him. He right fucked there. him up. Like right there. Yeah. Like, uh, I didn't use a bullet at that time. You can't get mad at me. Uh -huh. I don't know. I turned that kind of stuff off in my game because I was able to. I had to go into like one of the config files, like it's called the .ini file. Mm-hmm. And uh, you just change one line from uh, one to zero, the value, in order to turn that the, that kind of stuff off, right? And it, the and gratuitous violence doesn't really bother me because Fallout has always been known for it. Yeah, well, it doesn't bother me either, except that I have a highly customized uh, uh, character. And what really bugged me was the persistent blood and gore that would stick to your character's outfit and stuff all the time and it wouldn't go away and uh, that was the only way I could get rid of it was to just basically turn the gore off in the game right? hmm. you lose your left leg and you're, you're going to lose your right leg or not still tick, ticking away here shooting you not anymore <clears throat> just 
just funny. I'm just imagining I'm, uh, uh, what's her name? Sharon Stone's character from, uh, sorry, the Quick and the Dead. You're not fast enough to kill me. Today I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what what are what are you playing on? Just normal here, or just normal for this character? Because I'm yeah. just testing the waters. Usually I play on hard, which I've proven several times on stream. But I'm not really sure because I, I haven't played a character like this before. Yeah. So I'm not really sure what to expect. You you have a far uh, less cautious play style than I do. Right? Yes, because, because I'm playing with training I, wheels. Well, because what I try and do is uh, is uh, use cover, and I and in the situation where I'm going to go into somewhere where I'm outnumbered, I try and sneak up and kill at least one of them I'm before they know there. I'm there. Right? You know, I just Come don't on, jump man, out and say yell, yell boo. I uh, I uh, try and pick one or two of them off before you know, before they can react and shoot back, right? Because I'm a big survival mode fan, and uh, uh, for me, you know, like survival mode, well, the, the amount of damage that enemies dish out to is much higher. And uh, look at that. See, you missed with two their first two shots. With That's a okay. Percent chance to hit. Wow. It's okay. Oh, you're not gonna take the Molotov cocktail? And I don't know who you are. Not gonna need it. Glad to help. I'm glad I have my face now. Please go on. Sorry. Sounds really rough. Thanks. <clears throat> One good idea can be... Oh, Vanilla Perfect. Preston looks so ordinary. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Why, what does Vanilla... What does non-Vanilla Preston look like in your game? Well, like, he, he, like he looks the same, but uh, I have a mod called We Man Are again. The Minute Men. I know. And uh, what it does is he, he basically it changes his know, uniform so that he's wearing something that's uh, uh, can't get to the uh, a little more colorful and a bit reminiscent of Actually, what the uh, revolutionary oh. era uh, Minutemen uniform right. looked like. You know, like it's more blue and it's got like brass buttons on the front and all that kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. And he's also got it mm. like a, his his hat has that a different texture and color. style and. And uh, you know how um, you can you eventually will encounter Minutemen patrols later on in the game. Yep. Well, in the, in the vanilla version of the game, they all mostly just look like farmers carrying a mixed bag of uh, low-level weapons, right? You fix it but, so they actually count as well, a, no, it's, like a force. It's not, it's not my it's not my mod. It's, it's a mod that I downloaded from the Nexus called. No, no, VR. I mean like you fixed it by downloading the mod is what I meant to say. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like, they, they uh, wear, actually, like, uniforms and stuff like that. Like, they actually look like a uniformed force, like mm -hmm. a regular force kind of thing. And when you get to really high playing level, some of the Minutemen that you encounter are wearing, uh, like, fully kitted out suits of T-45 power armor and carrying miniguns and stuff like that, right? Like, they're, they're somebody to be reckoned with. <clears throat> hmm. You know, not just a bunch of random settlers carrying pipe guns, right? Or a bunch of farmers with pitchforks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and actually, uh, in association with that one, I've only tried it out once, but I also found another mod called Minutemen Takeover. And uh, when you get to Nuka World... What you can do is you can call Preston on the radio and uh, tell him the situation that you've come across, and he'll say, "Okay, what do you want to do?" And you can tell him that you want him to send some uh, soldiers. And uh, he says, "Okay, how many soldiers do you want me to send?" And it gives you send like everyone. <laughs> yeah, it gives you a low value and a medium value, and then the top value is send everybody. <laughs> And uh, when you send everybody, it results in like a pitched battle between the Minutemen and uh, all of the uh, Nuka World gangs all at once in, in, uh, in the, the Nuka Town USA area. 
and it and like the one time I tried it, it was a mismatch, man. Like the the Minutemen annihilated the Raiders. I think that they only took like a half a dozen casualties and they wiped out the Raiders to the last man, right? <clears throat> Silly because Raiders. they had because they had uh, well no they had uh, you know like Minutemen in power armor wearing mini guns, they had Minutemen wearing full combat armor. You know, like you know, carrying assault rifles and stuff like that. Like they were extremely well equipped, right? Okay, you gotta shoot that death claw before he gets you now. With your high speed pea shooter. <laughs> what death claw? <laughs> I don't see a death claw. I see a corpse in the middle of the street. Someone wants to clear that shit out of here. Yeah. So I've made a couple of mods too for the game. Actually, I've made probably about oh, three dozen mods. Although I've only I've only uploaded a few of them to the Nexus, but uh, one of them that I made was one to try and make mini guns a little bit more effective. And uh, rather than boosting the, the damage per shot, uh, what we did is we boosted the fire rate. Really? So yeah, so that a standard minigun, you know, like if you look at this gun Let's do this metal girl. in your inventory, uh, I think the fire rate is 272 or something like that, which is about 27 shots per second. Yeah. And, uh, you know, in, in, instead of... Uh, boosting the damage of the barrel types we boosted the uh, fire rate so that the standard barrel minigun has a fire rate of about 360 <clears throat> because uh, you know like I always thought it was kind of a joke that you start firing a minigun at a group of raiders and they go you know, fucking minigun, and they panic and go in all directions, and then it turns out that uh, you can't actually kill a raider with a minigun unless you use, like, an entire drum of, of ammunition on him, right? <laughs> so, you know, like, there's been a lot of minigun overhauls, and, uh, you know, like, it's a, it's a tough issue to fix, but I think uh, uh, they didn't really make miniguns the... <laughs> The feared weapon that they should be. No, but every time you someone says "fucking minigun," I just laugh in my nuts a little. Because when you think about it, when you get to a higher level, if you have a combat rifle and you spend the uh, right perks with that combat rifle, let's say that you're you spend five perks on commando and uh, you make that an automatic combat rifle and you've got all your perks and gun nut, well, guess what? That combat rifle has just as high a DPS as that minigun will. And it weighs half as much, and the ammunition is way easier to come by, too. <clears throat> yeah, sure, so Preston, we're all going to die eventually. Yeah. So that's that's what makes me kind of scratch my head about the way that they uh, they did miniguns in this game, right? Because I just don't think that uh, uh, you know, like they they have the impact that they should, right? That's fair. They don't have the impact they should. No, because uh, you shouldn't be able to kit out a uh, um, a combat rifle which is a middle a middle tier weapon so that it puts out just as much damage per second as a minigun will. You know what I mean? Like there should be no comparison between them. Which is in a way why I like the uh, Fallout New Vegas weapon system better because you can't really change the characteristics of a weapon a great deal. No, you can't. And, and so, you know, a minigun in that game is considerably more powerful than any uh, semi-automatic or automatic rifle that you can find, right? <clears throat> that is correct. Where yeah, but power in, armor in... also isn't what you want it to be in the other games. Like, power armor in this game, it feels like power armor. It is yeah, not even that's, close that's to true. that. That's true. They did, they did make some improvements from this game over New Vegas. 
I'll grant you that. that uh, improvements no. in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. When you wear a uh, power armor, you might as well say be wearing a, like being in a real life trying to pick fights with some uh, like some mercenaries with a, <laughs> with a paper a piece of paper taped to your chest that says Weenie Hut Juniors. Well, the thing is, though, you have to realize that even the uh, armor system and the damage system is different in Fallout New Vegas, though, right? Oh, absolutely. Different and, system. And, I mean, if you've, got, if you've got a damage threshold of 45 or so, which is what most power armors give you in New Vegas... Oh, it's a that's lot. Actually, that's actually a lot of protection in the terms of their game, right? Winterized stuff is always better, FYI. Yeah. But, uh... You know, they, they completely revamped the damage system and the armor system in this game so that you're dealing with much higher numbers too, right? You know? You know, everything, like your weapons all have much higher numbers for the damage output and uh, your armors all have much higher armor values, but they don't really provide you with any more protection than the uh, New Vegas armors did against the New Vegas level weapons, right? It's just yes. that all the number it's just that all the numbers that you're dealing with are bigger instead. The bones in the back that are going astray. The 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 games are very different, <clears throat> but they're all fun. Yeah. It's hard not to uh, draw some between the two oh, games. Oh, especially so. when you've played them. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, like some of the things that I really liked in New Vegas, they didn't keep for Fallout 4. No, especially if you're going to play a low intelligence character. That was always funny in uh, 1, 2, from what I heard, Tactics, and 3 in New Vegas. They took it away, which is just lazy. Yeah. Well, another thing is the... Um... Uh, skill system, right? I really like the skill system in Fallout New Vegas because it was it was quite detailed, and also you had to make some choices that were you know and how you allocated your skill points each time you leveled up, and it would really affect how you could play the game, right? Whereas here you uh, level up and you give yourself a uh, a star hey, for a perk again. or a star for an ability point or whatever. Sure it just doesn't feel along. like the same nice level of detail, it. right? No, not at all. Yeah. I used to like when... What do you mean? I lived here. Damn. You say you were from... But that being said, though, uh, I like the crafting anyway, system they introduced into Fallout 4 very much. You know, like, I like the base building, and uh, I like the uh, workbenches, and, and uh, you know, like, the ability to make things and stuff like that mind. that you just didn't have in but Fallout New Vegas, back. right? I still haven't gotten a handle on the crafting system in Fallout New Vegas, to tell you the truth. Somewhere. The only <clears> chance <throat> about rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go yeah, and here you get moment? appointed General Errand Runner. So Preston Garvey can say that you're the boss, and then he can boss you around. <laughs> uh, yeah, when your subordinates boss you around and be like, hey, do this, do that. You're like, no. <laughs> yeah, except that you don't. That's the one thing, though, that I found is really funny about all of these games is that... Uh, they want to, um, you know, give you the feeling like you uh, are the central figure in the in the uh, world, and that you're somebody important. So they put you in charge of something, but then the next thing you know, your subordinates are all giving you jobs, right? Yeah, it's like, it doesn't well, make well, sense. Who's, yeah, like who's really in charge then? <laughs> <laughs> Always yeah, take the fusion nice. cores out, kids. Yeah, this is nice. It kind of spreads things out a little bit. Yeah. You know, like you don't have all your crafting stations all cluttered around the, the main house. No, and, but I'm going to because the other two crafting stations, like the cookie and the chem station, are still where they're supposed to be. Yeah. Like by default, so. 
And it always kind of puzzled me, too, as to why is the main house the main house? Wouldn't it have been the house that you lived in before the war that would be the main house? You would think. You know? Yeah, like, why wasn't your house the main house? Why is that house across the street from you the main house? Questions for the ages, my man. <laughs> So what are you doing now? You're gonna make, you're gonna give yourself a better barrel. Can you give yourself a better receiver too yet? Oh, gonna go with the the long stick mag sticking out of the grip. Absolutely. Hey, you can you can put a suppressor on this thing now. Yeah, if I want to, yeah, I could. I think I might. use the the laser musket for a while are you I intend to use it yes I yeah, do until long, I get something long, better put the long scope on it yeah put the long scope on it do I don't have a scope. point in science remind me to level up science next yeah no you don't have a point in science but with the three crank receiver and a long scope this is gonna be you know, at a beginning level, it's going to be a very good sniper weapon anyway. <clears throat> With that, you can put the advanced receiver, so that shotgun is now as powerful as it's ever going to get. And if you want to shoot well. things... If you want to shoot things any further than about 10 feet away, you got to put the long barrel on. Shh, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting a wabbit. <laughs> See, here's something that you can do uh, uh, for your friends out there, is you can do some test firing with this shotgun with differing length barrels just to show what it does. Well, you know what they say about testing. The best way to do it is just to find people who need to die. Just uh -huh. start unloading on them. Well, no, I think uh, if you're close enough to a wall, you'll actually make marks on the wall when you shoot it. Like if you were to walk up to the, a wall on this house and shoot at the wall on this house with that shotgun, it would make uh, like bullet marks in the wall, right? I think I should line it with asbestos. What do you think? Asbestos yeah, lining? Yeah. I would shoot the wall, but I, I can't wait to waste the bullets just yet. Oh. When I get more ammo, I promise I will. You need you need at least one piece of armor with uh, uh, padded as well. Because what that does is it reduces the damage you take from grenades and stuff like that, right? Really? Yes. It will reduce the damage you take from explosives by 25%. And if you, uh, later on, if you get a piece of armor that has padded on it and another piece of armor that has dents, they stack so that you'll actually get uh, a substantial reduction to damage, like 75%, I believe, for two explosives like mines, grenades, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So if you have a hat or a helmet or something like that that you can uh, equip with uh, the, the, the padded uh, modification, you probably want to put that on there. I don't see padded just yet, but I will look. It's it's on the it's usually either on just on body armors and 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 uh, uh, head armors like helmets and stuff like that. Is there a leather helmet? Uh, no, but there are uh, uh, some, I'm, I'm not sure if some hats, like maybe uh, uh, some hats can be equipped with it, I don't know, but uh, there's also, uh, uh, or maybe it may be only if you've got mods that uh, allow it, right? I know in my game I can put padded or dense on uh, either body armor or 
various headgear, right? Like, yeah. like uh, hats or helmets, you know, because there are some helmets in the game too, right? Like you got metal helmets and combat armor helmets. Maybe, maybe you could put a one, want that mod on a, on a say a combat armor helmet or something, right? Hey, Cotsworth. This now. Welcome back. Mom. So, what kind of armor protection do you have now? I will that? show you in a second. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. Uh -huh. I realize that. Yes, of course. <laughs> not to worry there, I'm sure. You gonna take Codsworth with you? Yeah, why not? He's got a flamethrower on his hand. So I got a bunch of leather armor right now. Yeah, what's your armor value though? Like your total armor value. It is max at the moment, so let's see. It is okay, you not got too 80, bad. 33, so 70 30, 33, times. Yeah, okay. So with 33 armor, that will give you about a uh, about a 30% damage reduction on low level weapons like pipe guns and stuff like that. Yes, it will. Yeah, you probably want to stash those in the bench because they have weight, I think, right? That's correct. But you can carry all the ammunition you want because the ammunition doesn't weigh anything. That's true. That's why when I'm in a hurry, I only usually carry ammunition. Well, that's one of the things... Oh, you should carry that buff out with you, by the way. I... Well, I just wanted to see what the hell is... What the hell is weighing me down so hard? Well, you are carrying a minigun. That's pretty heavy. Oh, <laughs> shit. I didn't mean to put the minigun... Okay. I was trying to figure it out. It's like, why am I so... <laughs> why do I feel like you, I eat Taco Bell? To, yeah, like, if you're gonna carry... Uh, you probably want to keep your 10 millimeter pistol. Oh, absolutely, and, I will. And if you want a long-range weapon, you probably yeah. want the laser musket, at least for a while, till you find something better. And, uh, I don't know if I'd bother carrying the shotgun. It seems like it's a bit redundant. If you've okay. already got... Gotta love Betty Hutton, right? I mean, I guess if you're worried about running out of, of ammunition for your pistol, then maybe carry the shotgun in case. But it doesn't... Yeah, you got quite a few shells. So maybe maybe it would be a good idea. Just in case you run out of bullets for your pistol, right? Oh, I won't run out. Don't worry. Okay. And you definitely need to cook up that uh, uh, meat that you got in the in the uh, workbench because you get XPs for that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Have you not seen my videos before? Uh, watch the odd one, yeah. Then you know I love to cook. I'm just trying to avoid doing too much that would be considered boring to watch. Like, I'm trying not to do too much uh, bookkeeping right now. Okay. Well, I'll stop trying to tell you how to play the game. Then. Just play. <laughs> no, no, not not that at all. I agree <laughs> with you. Just I want to do a little bit of stuff that's not going to get me yelled at. Because usually when I do stuff like that on stream, people yell at me. Oh. Much like Rec V5 and Free for Flower Picking. I'm trying yeah, to find he, the he, damn he place to sleep, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like watching me play uh, Skyrim because I stop and pick every flower and every plant. Yeah, and it drives him nuts. So you got an elevator here too. Yeah, it's an exclusive club. Not many people will have access to. It's got a little fireplace. You know, no big deal. Oh yeah, you got yourself a little treehouse kind of thing here? Yep. So, uh, if you build beds in here, is that considered to be sheltered beds then, or what? Yes, it would be. Okay. See, I have, or I used to have a uh, mod, like a treehouse mod as well. It was different than this, though, but it was the same kind of idea. It was like a big, huge tree that you could plunk down somewhere, and it had... Uh, platforms with roofs over them and stuff like that here and there, right? Okay. 
So if you're not playing survival, what was the purpose of sleeping there? To regain health without using a stim pack. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right, I forgot about that. Yeah, stim packs are uh, in short supply. Only have eight. So now I have to start playing smart. That's why we have Codsworth. He's going to be the bullet sponge. I know I'm telling you how to play the game again, but you should favorite a couple of your other weapons so that they're easier to get to. I do have... Uh, no, I guess that was just the... Because um, I didn't have the laser musket when I favorited it, did I? No. Anything well, you got, you got a couple of handy spots there. Maybe you should favor the laser musket and then... Uh, yeah. You know, that way you can quickly switch between them when you want to. Just gonna do one quick thing here. Just because this is gonna happen. Wait, I didn't want to do that. Hold on. Isn't is it yeah, there's supposed to be a rad roach that jumps out at you and Cogsbrook is gonna fry it. <laughs> We're having a rad roach for dinner. You didn't take any damage from his flamethrower? No, I must not have. Maybe that's just a feature on survival then, because uh, what I found is that Codsworth, his flame weapon, actually damages me if I get in the way of it. Eh? <clears throat> oh, Codsworth! You know what? You know what they should have done. Speaking of, uh, you were we were talking about kind of lazy shortcuts that uh, the game designer took here and there, is they should have extended the build limit for Sanctuary out to the end of the bridge. And then they could have just given you the ability to fix the bridge yourself, right? Yeah, like, literally. Like, fixing you know, the like bridge should have been, been something you should have been able to do. Yeah, because I've seen a lot of mods out there that, that fix that, the bridge. Uh, <laughs> that fix the bridge. In fact, I have one in my own game, like I downloaded one from the Nexus that fixes the bridge. Like, and, uh, you find all those white picket fence bullshit that lets you build white picket fences and stuff. Why not one that fixes the goddamn bridge? Well, the thing is, you can also build, uh, like, in the in the wood section of your uh, your settlement, like, your, your workbench menu system. There's Say even a bridge, there's even a bridge what? section in there, right? You know, like, they, they should oh. have uh, given you the ability to fix the bridge, right? Because that bridge looks like it's going to fall down if uh, one more fat ass in, Brahmin in, in caravan a, yeah, runs over it. Yeah, exactly. In, in a stiff wind, it looks like it's going to fall down. It's. I find it very uh, hard to believe that a heavily loaded Brahmin can walk back and forth across that without it collapsing. Right. You shoot that blood bug. And then you better shoot the other one, too. Oh, they're both dead. <laughs> you know, I've never come across these guys dead, but, you know. Here we are. So did you, uh, when you were setting this game up, did you find uh, a pipe gun overhaul mod? I did. Yeah? But I'm not a fan of the pipe guns. No, it's just a no but I think caliber. I might come around on it. I just want to play with it a little bit more before I... Yeah, it's just that the 38 caliber... It. Yeah, the 38 caliber ammunition is so common, right? You know, like, you're you're still finding it even at, like, level 60. I mean, absolutely, or that's why they call it the 38 Special. <laughs> <laughs> 60 minute... Man, come on, you know the words. 60 yeah. minutes... You're like, no, I haven't had a real radio in so long, I don't know the words. 60 minutes. All right, let's see. Because I actually spent the longest time looking for mods that uh, uh, made guns that, that would actually make use of the 38 ammunition, even at medium to higher levels. Just because you keep finding 38 ammunition everywhere, and uh, 
you know, like I, I tried out a few and eventually I just made my own. So I made a mod where uh, you have um, 38 caliber revolvers. It just uses the same model as the as the base 44 revolver in this game does. But I made a copy of it oh, and okay. uh, and made it so that it shoots 38s, and another copy of it that oh, shoots 10 millimeter that. rounds too. And uh, you know, like figured out how to insert them into the level list so they appear in the game world. You know, like people will use them against you as well. Really? Yeah. That's dirty. But it but it, uh, it gives you something that you can do with the uh, you know, 38 ammunition so that the, the weapons that shoot it are still somewhat useful at higher levels, right? I'll be honest with you, that sounds extremely useful. Also, I am really just waiting for them to... Uh, I know they're not going to do it for a long time. But I really want them to put out Dr. Nyx. I want to I wanna show every night is ladies' night on the channel. Oh, you the 50 ways to die at Dr. Nix? Yes. Yeah, you're not going to see that on uh, PS4. Not on PS4, but I'm holding up hope for no. PS5. Uh, no, you won't see it on a Sony console because Sony doesn't allow uh, non-native scripts and that kind of thing. And that, that is an extremely script-heavy mod, right? <clears throat> Unfortunate. Yeah, so you you just won't see that mod. Like a lot of the, you know, like there there's a fair variety of mods for for uh, the Sony deck at Bethesda.net, but uh, uh, it has the smallest selection, right? Like the uh, Xbox, you can get a lot more because Microsoft allows a lot more on their their uh, consoles than Sony does. <clears throat> I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm here but to help. basically, any mods that you see will, uh, they'll have been made using uh, all vanilla. We're uh, rebuilding. Glad to hear it. There's a raider gang. Resources, right? Yeah. Whereas, uh, you know, like the, the more complex no quest Thanks, mods, man. like 50 Ways to Die at Dr. Nix, I mean, the author of that mod uh, wrote scripts to make things happen and that kind of thing like it's it's just and he also has a lot of uh, um, non non vanilla textures and meshes and things in there too because he actually created a lot of uh, items that don't exist in the middle in the the vanilla game right yeah but when it comes to stuff that doesn't exist in the vanilla game there's mods right here on the PlayStation console that did not exist, like adding geckos from Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, but those those people that put those uh, mods in there, they figured out some kind of loophole to get left with, right? And probably that is also a lot simpler mod than uh, than a complex quest mod is, right? Fair. Because they probably used. Uh, something like a, I don't know, a, a mole rat behavior or something like that and just change the way that it looks a little bit, right? <clears throat> I'm so used to playing this other game I play all the time, I can't stop jumping. <laughs> it's called Borderlands. I am not going the right way. Yeah, aren't no, you um, supposed to be? Aren't you supposed to be going to Corvega? No, we're not doing that. I just wanted to get the quest ready. Oh, I'm trying to get to Trudy. Oh well, you got to go almost all the way back to. Uh, yeah, like you're you're totally not going the right way. Well, I'm just gonna fast travel back to the Museum of Freedom and try and figure it out. Ah. Uh, well, it's not far from there. You no, but I just can't remember way. if it's left, right, straight, sideways. <laughs> what? How long has it been since you played this game? Two month and a half. I've been playing a lot of other uh, games, so information gets overridden. I think if I go hang, this way, hang a right, hang yeah. a right, follow the road. <laughs> it'll, it'll take you there. <laughs> the road is your friend. 
And yeah, then there's right. and then there's Cody, aka the Sweater Vest Gamer. Do you know how many times I've never followed the road in Oblivion or Skyrim? Following the road is for pussies. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's true because you, did you ever get attacked by a Will of the Wisp on the road, or a Wisp Mother? Hell no. Actually, you know what? Uh, uh, well, maybe with Revenge Oblivion, of the Enemies. Oblivion, Oblivion gets pretty crazy when it comes to stuff that you meet on the road eventually, right? You know, like Minotaur Lords and all that kind of stuff. Trash Can Carlo? Huh? Yep, that's Trash Can, trash so can Carlo. Looking at Trey? Well, that's her problem. You know, if you rob her, you get some you get some nice stuff, but she's locked as a merchant forever. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Actually, you don't want to piss her off. You're you're better off, uh, you know, like using one of the peaceful options because she is a useful resource in the game, right? She's a very useful resource. So because because I figure can... out how to gain the system. Well, no, you can sell her a lot of stuff that you don't need and buy stuff from her that you might need for building things. And... Oh, I know. I, I, Me and Trash Can Carla are old buddies. I just wanted to get her activated so that she'd be ready. Yeah, well, she'll be hanging around at Sanctuary the next time you get back. Now, my question is, I know there's three ways to do this quest, but I always seem to do it wrong. I guess I just wait for Tree to tell them to fuck off. Um, well, you have to talk to him, and then if, if I don't know, uh, well, you should be, have no problem with persuasion since your charisma is like ten already. I'm a very, I'm so, a very charismatic guy. You remember when I was playing Antonio yeah. Banderas in a banana hammock and Powers and Perils? Yeah. So <laughs> you you uh, you just go up and you talk to the guy, right? Talk like and this? Can... Should I talk to him like this? No. Oh, okay. You go up and you, you go up and you talk to him, make peace with him, because oh. he he. If you Whoa, kill him now, you don't get to have him as a vendor either. This doesn't involve you. Mm -hmm. So you want to. Uh, you stop waving that gun in my face. And and well, Codsworth won't off. like it okay, if you try okay, and uh, like easy. use the persuasion we'll option. Weapons, Codsworth right? doesn't like that. Just don't do crazy. Why wouldn't Codsworth ha like me to demand money? See, Codsworth Give me your money. likes that. Good for Codsworth. We'll fix him later. Yeah. Demand money. No, don't do What's that. What's going on here? It's a simple business. If you piss him off, then uh, you'll lose him as a merchant. I'm probably gonna end up killing him. I tried reasoning. Nah. He's a poison peddler, and I'm a poison peddler. We can't both sell drugs to Mo Murphy. Someone has to die. I could use another gun. No, but you might need to buy drugs from him sometimes, and he's also a, another guy that you can sell things to because. You can I'll sell anything Maybe to we him, can work right? This out. Appreciate it. So he's got Things a pool of money this. that you can we'll use to buy stuff that you might need from somebody else, right? But drug dealers are bad guys. Hey, Except for me, of course. I saw you in that well, store, not in this world. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away with. See, this is another thing. Well, you know, like in, 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 the, in the the world of Bethesda, if these people live in this building and operate this shop, well, where do they sleep? Right? You know, like there's no beds in here. Uh, on the hard on. cushions. I don't know. Yeah, they just they just crash on a on a uh, a, a booth bench. You know, like, that doesn't look very comfy or particularly wide. <laughs> Is Wolfgang going Again, back in? No, you got to go back and talk to him now. You did the successful persuasion thing, so now you cool. got to go talk to him. And he'll pay you some money and uh, tell you that you did good. Perfect. Now, where else are we needed? I guess we could go to Corvega and shoot, take some paw shots at some motherfuckers. Doesn't that sound like fun? <coughs> sure, why not? I remember when I fully upgraded the last minute, one of my favorite things to do, Wasteland Safari, we've talked about this, is I will uh, just start sniping random locations. I don't know. I prefer to be a little more orderly than that. Right? 
I don't shoot things unless I have a reason to. Well, I mean, my reason for Wasteland Safari was to improve my sniping ability in the game as such that when I was under combat, I would not just try and be like Alan Quartermain and do it with one bullet only to end up being murdered. <laughs> huh. Actually, you know what I did to get better at uh, manual aiming is I just didn't uh, use VATS, right? Like, I just stopped using it. Well, you can yeah. use VATS with, like, a Gauss rifle, which will fully charge the weapon, but with the long recon night vision scope, it doesn't really make you better. Okay. Well, if you want to do sniper work, you should get up on top of the freeway there. I could, but I want it to be a little bit more active. But, you know, that's, that's not a bad idea. But I can only be on there for a little while, because I'm going to have to climb that gangplank for the bobblehead and to kick a serious bunch of motherfuckers in the teeth. Well, my, um... I've seen the freeway used, but I've never used it myself. Yeah, what you do is you can get a really good view of pretty well everybody from here, right? So you just uh, fire down at all the enemies and, and shoot them from here. <clears throat> you just have to watch out for nah, some of those guys that, that might have uh, Molotov cocktails or grenades have major league arms. And they can actually uh, yeah, shoot them. You got them lined up. See that? That's Homer. That's a that's a pretty good <laughs> arm right there. That yeah. Was a long throw. Right. That's that's probably a good. That's Homer uh, too. That's probably a good uh, thirty or forty yards away. You know. If the world hadn't ended, that person should have been pitching in the minors at least. Yeah, or uh, or playing quarterback for a pro football team or something. If they if you can throw some, an object that like that fifty yards in the air. Wow, you've got a strong arm. You're like, do you want to play for our it's, team? It's like your, <laughs> it's like your, it's like your Patrick Mahomes out there or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> Only you're throwing Molotov cocktails instead of footballs. There's not very many That's people Homer. out there. Yeah, there's not very many people out there who can throw something 50 yards, right? Like that's a long ways. Only, only the most elite pro athletes can throw an object that far, which is why I think that uh, that's something that's a bit hokey about how these uh, grenade missiles work, too, right? Yep. Don't get mad at me, but I wanted to use uh, VATS that time just because I had one in the bank. Oh, that's fine. You play any way you like. I don't care. I was just telling you what I did in order to get that's sharper. Over. In order to get sharper at uh, manual aiming, because... Uh, VATS is all well and good at extremely close range, but when you get far enough away that your hit chances are kind of crap, it's, it's, you're actually better off aiming manually That's to practice at it, right? I don't know, when I'm sniping, I like to pretend I'm Ned Flanders from that episode. That's where he goes in the bell tower with the right. That's Homer. That's Homer, too. <laughs> oh, that was dark. I missed. Let's try that again. Shouldn't have peeked your head out, pretty boy. But you're only putting one crank on that? Well, it seems when I put in three cranks, it takes one shot. Yeah, I know. So? It also uh, does way more damage, too. Yeah, but I'm wasting three bullets. You could probably, probably one-shot most of these guys with a, like a three-crank shot, right? Did I just fall? Oh, no. What? Sorry, it looked like he fell, but he was just doing cover, and I, I don't know, my brain associated it weirdly. Yeah. You need to hold your breath to steady the scope, too, when you're aiming. I know. I'm just trying to find a clear shot. Shot that well, guy in the you, ass. You, yeah. <laughs> I shot him in the that's ass. You, yeah, that's why you aim for, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Or if they're, if they're facing the other way, you aim for their head, right? Man, I feel like Boris the Bullet Dodger right now. <laughs> Have you well, seen that movie? No. At this rate, you're not going to uh, have very many uh, fusion cells left anyway. That won't be a problem. Come next episode. Oh, 
that's why are you going to go back to the cheat room or what? <laughs> that was our secret. I haven't actually oh. used it, but yeah, I, I can get a bunch of ammo from there if I want to. But no, what I was going to do is I was just going to spend a couple episodes. And by episodes, I mean I was just going to do off-screening. Where I would just sell literally all of this shit back to Wolfgang and Trudy and eventually people in the Diamond City just to make up the difference so I could just buy more ammo. Because uh, ammo is not hard to come by. The cheat room won't even be there by the time the next episode rolls around. I just wanted to show you how cool it was. Ooh, that was a headshot. Headshot. There we go. Sometimes I will use vats to figure out where someone is. Yeah, I do that too. Right. Because I can't be expected to keep track of everyone at all times. Like, Jesus, there's a lot of them. How do you yeah, like Wasteland that, Safari? That guy there, you need, to, you need to get him the next time he pops up. How did that, that should have hit? Well, no, he ducked. Uh, he's got enough cover there that you're going to hit the wall before you can uh, hit him. Right? Come on, peek out your you beautiful gotta... head. Yeah, you there gotta... we go, he's dead now. Yeah. No, you didn't get him. I did get you him, he's dead. There. See that? You gotta yeah. get him when he stands up. Yeah. Okay, now everyone's underneath still me. Gotta... Yeah, you still got some people underneath you there. And you might well, have got... to go down. I'm just going to shoot that guy in person. Down. You might have to go down to the surface in order to get both that, both that guy there. Unless you can get up here. That was disgraceful. I wasted like nine bullets for that. Yep. Oh, there you got him on the third try. <laughs> See, when you fire in bats with this gun, it uh, gives you a shot, I think, for each. Or, or, or like a single crank shot for each shot. Whereas when you fire manually, that's when you crank it up to three cranks and then, huh. you know, like, deliver a high damage attack, right? Do the Raiders really see, say fucking minigun? Yeah, they do. That's awesome. So there's one guy or gal left and they're shooting at me. Oh, well, that's about it now. Well, it's not Ooh, the, or is it the machine gun turret? <laughs> Be careful, or you might end up getting some uh, negative acceleration trauma there. Negative acceleration? What do you mean? Yeah. Well, that's when you fall off the edge, and you're oh. moving at uh, you're moving at terminal velocity, and then you suddenly oh, come to a stop. <laughs> you know, and then you suffer uh, negative acceleration trauma. <clears throat> and from this height, that's probably enough to uh, be fatal. Triangle does not switch my weapons. Triangle does not switch my weapons. Well, you might be running a little low on ammunition for this gun, but you're almost through needing it now anyway. Because you're going to be getting uh, into more close range type stuff here pretty soon. Who's left alive? Well, oh, someone else that. who's a sniping bitch. Okay. Yeah, somebody up on the roof probably somewhere, right? Yeah, way up there. We'll fix his wagon. And you you can't hit him with vats. You only have like a 9% chance. Well, I don't to need hit to hit him. him with vats. His head's right there. <laughs> like a watermelon. <laughs> okay. Wasteland there Safari. You there you go. Now I think you're clear. You can tell, too, if you uh, go into sneak mode briefly. It'll tell no, you there's, there's still someone there's, alive. Yeah, it'll tell you if there's any active enemies still in the area, right? Yeah, like if you get a caution flag or a danger flag, then you know that there's still somebody around that that detects you, right? <clears throat> yeah, if you stop right here for a second at the bottom of the stairs back up to the bottom of the stairs for a second. Yeah, I am. I'm going. <clears throat> Just briefly. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So, if you uh, stand at the bottom of the stairs, turn around, 
Uh, look back toward those barricades. Like, turn to your left. Yep. Like, turn to your left and look at the barricades. Yep. Down the street. Yep. So, um, the other, the other way. The other way. The other way. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> no, no, no. <laughs> Turn, okay. Yeah. The now, barricades, yes. Go this way. Stop at the bottom. You see the barricades there? Yep. That, that distance in, in uh, real units, uh, like scale units in the game, is approximately 50 yards. Okay. Because I know this because in the uh, Flamer overhaul that Wreck uh, Me 5 oh, actually, me that. did, we did some test firing here. And with, oh. the flamer, with the flamer standing at about uh, the bottom of these stairs, I was able to light up a raider that was hiding behind one of those concrete barriers. Right? Oh, jeez. <clears throat> did you uh, did you go cannibal on him afterwards? So you got yourself a nice warm meal? Some long pig? <laughs> no, it was just like it was, we, were, we were play testing, right? Oh, okay. Just to see what the effective range of the weapon was. So Nora didn't get any delicious long pig that day. No. I don't really generally play the cannibal. Oh, watch out. With that. I don't generally play the cannibalism thing anyway. Because the debuff is really annoying. I don't know why he thought he could bring a pool cue to a gunfight, but hopefully he'll learn from <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he uh, didn't last long. See, that's one thing I can't figure out too in this in this game world is that, uh, as you well know, uh, Boston is like uh, one of the what they call original six NHL hockey cities, right? Yeah. Okay. So why why is there no hockey sticks? Are, why are there no hockey sticks in Fallout Four? Like because you know, hockey I mean, doesn't exist. I mean, hockey sticks make wonderful weapons, obviously, because uh, you know, like we've seen, you know, hockey players get seriously injured by being hit in the head by a hockey stick before. I mean, <clears throat> usually so, when Sidney Crosby gives a uh, a uh, what's it called an interview, he's usually drooling with anticipation. So. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's one of the reasons why they wear helmets with full face shields and all that kind of stuff, right? Like the original goalies didn't have any teeth because of the pucks hitting them in the face, but and they look yeah. like lemons because you know their face shape changed. But yeah. But but yeah, like why don't they have hockey sticks in Fallout Four? I honestly like couldn't it, tell you. Because you know, like you would think that a hockey stick would be a better bludgeoning weapon than a pool cue. A for one pool cue would be good for stabbing, not not bludgeoning. Yeah, like for one thing, a hockey stick is has a little more uh, heft and weight than a pool cue does. <clears throat> Although I don't know, maybe with the modern uh, graphite sticks and stuff, maybe a hockey stick would just break if you hit somebody with it. But... Oh fuck it, I'll just shoot the explosive. No. Oh. Disappearing, Atop. Yeah, you're just you're just shooting that. Uh, all you're doing is you're shooting that column. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, if I had some oily ra uh, some uh, rags, there's alcohol right there. I can make a, a Russian special. Yeah, I know, but you have to go to a workbench in order to do that, right? So it's not like you can really uh, conveniently do that right now. Wow. <clears throat> do I have a Molotov cocktail? Because if I do, I'm going to use one right now. I do. So it would be R1. Yeah, R1 to throw. Yeah, okay. don't, yeah don't do that. You're going to blow yourself up. Right. Those things are not good to use in close quarters like this. I just used it and I didn't blow myself up. Caldra took a hit, but he'll be fine. <laughs> I did good. You'll see it in a second. Yeah, I saw it. <clears throat> it's like when you used fireball you're like don't worry I'm a professional yeah yeah fireball is the solution to everything yeah 
<laughs> Barbarian, you're too weak to understand. Fireball is a solution to all life problems. Yeah. <laughs> Really? How? Oh, that's just baiting. I can't unlock that. Do you know how many levels well, I'd have to gain to, off screen? You were you were supposed to take the key off of. Uh, no, Chris because then I'm uh, then I'm permanently losing experience. I don't play that shit. I keep it real. Yeah, I know, but why are you gonna? Are you like? Why would you come all the way back here just so that you could open that one lock? Like, oh, it's a uh, it's a generic dungeon. Generic yeah, dungeon. Still. Chances are, if you follow along the storyline, you're probably never going to come back here, right? Oh, I come back here two, three times a week. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> oh. But I, I like to explore dungeons because it's a good way of uh, abusing XP and uh, getting money quickly. That's pretty much it. Actually, I think this is the only dungeon I really abuse. Like, I beat it like it owes me money. Oh, now you gotta... There. You gotta pick that lock. Oh, you're gonna break your pick. No, I'm not. Too good for that. I should have just enough ammo to kill everyone here, and then... If not, I'll have to pick up a pipe pistol. Which yeah, will make you me very happy. To, you might have to <laughs> resort to the pipe pistol, because... Uh, your, uh, you know, like, and these guys don't seem to be dropping 10 millimeter ammunition much. No, that's that's actually surprising. <laughs> well, you might have to dust off that double barreled shotgun for a little while or something. I don't think I brought it with me, but I'll just pick up this pipe pistol. Might as well just start using the pipe pistol. Yes, to conserve ammunition. Well, I have 293 bullets, so. Yeah. Well, I suppose Maybe I'll download that or... Sandman's Better Pipe Pistols. No, you, can't. <laughs> you sure? Yep, it's not on Bethesda.net, sorry. Mm, I don't in think fact, that's in true. Fact, in fact, I never I never actually uploaded that mod to uh, anywhere. Because I never really did finish it. Why not? I don't know, too busy. That's fair. Steve, I was ready to stop. Was the bones in my back that had gone astray? Because, uh, you know, like that mod, we, we uh, myself and RecV5X worked on that one, and we actually added quite a bit of stuff to it, like uh, uh, bolt-action shotguns. But, uh... He was a threat. I had to kill him. You're wasting oh. your ammunition. I have 269 bullets, plus nine. <laughs> but you're you're still wasting it, though. It's so I don't even heal slowly anymore. Oh, this is so hard when you start a new character and you lose all on all the perks. Though I know if I wanted to, I could, I could do nothing in the story and just generically farm this until I was level 30, but I don't want to. So. Here's the hard part. Did I just knock them down and not actually activate them? That's embarrassing. Someone edit that in post. <laughs> actually, pipe pistol's not that bad. I'll actually like it a little bit. I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever used one before. Well, I, there I'd is rather a, enjoy it. Yeah, there is a pipe gun overhaul mod on uh, Bethesda.net. And back before I uh, finished with my console, I actually had that mod on my console. And it's pretty good, actually, that mod. It uh, goes kind of back to the uh, Fallout New Vegas type of routes where you're, uh, you can change receivers on pipe guns to shoot different types of ammunition. That kind of thing, right? So you could have a... Uh, a pipe gun personal defense weapon that shoots us like uh, 5.56s or or a uh, pipe gun battle rifle that shoots 308s or something like that, right? Ah, uh, me and Jared just had a meeting of the minds. 
<laughs> you selfish bastard. How dare you use the, the stim pack that you carry. Uh, yeah, well, I guess you don't get it now, hey? No, I don't get it now. Well, you didn't kill that turret before you came in here either. I don't have to. I'll just deactivate it and then I'll destroy it and get the pity XP. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Can you destroy them once you've deactivated them? I don't. Yes, so. yes, you can. And you get the XP for it. I'll show you. Watch. Okay. Well, deactivate. And then you will have to demonstrate. See? You'll see it in a couple seconds, but yeah. Uh, when it comes to XP, just ask me. I am the Parasite oh, XP'er oh, yeah, yeah. after all. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, look, there's still a raider down there. I'm trying working to, on it. <laughs> trying to get you. Trying to get you. Did he just call me an asshole? Oh, you need to get back. Oh, I don't know. He might have. I mean, they, they do uh, all kinds of name-calling and stuff like that in this game, right? And some of it is not very nice. How dare you attack my robot butler? You don't get a leg anymore. Pipe pistol for life! For life! <laughs> You're just enjoying the pipe pistol that way of oh no, oh no, oh no. This place is just a grenade factory and that idiot just set uh -oh. it off. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better you better uh, get someplace where there isn't something blowing up. That's where you stand you stand underneath this platform and just pray. Yeah. That's all you can do. Uh, well just wait wait it out until it's all done with. Idiot. That's what you get. You get shot a bunch. Okay, so we're not done in here because there's lots of people who still have to die, so we're going to go back down. I have to unalive everybody who's still alive. You have to de-alive them? No, unalive them. Oh. I don't know. It's a, it's a meme. Yeah, I, I think they're both applicable, but... On the live is like that, I don't know, like that anime meme, I don't know. Well, Either way, I have to clear this place out because there's an infestation and they called the exterminator. I don't know why all these raiders are here protecting all these uh, ghouls, but you know, <laughs> they gotta die too, I guess. No, actually, if you listen to those two guys that were talking when you first came in, uh, they were talking about how they kept trying to, you know, like put barriers over holes and things. Yeah, like there's that. the no matter the terminal what they entry did, the ghouls, too. We need more turrets down here. Yeah, the, no matter what they do, the the ghouls still keep getting in. Yep, and they're like Grizzle, we need more turrets. He's like, I don't care, I just want to do drugs. And they're like, damn it. <laughs> it's cool that all the raider bosses in this game know of each other. And they yep. seem to be a part of a larger group, but they all hate each other. Yeah, and once you've wiped out a couple of them, then the other ones start talking about you. Right? Is the one in the high school tough? Uh, which high school? Uh, the one with the pool? Oh, over, over by, uh, the, uh... Uh, red rocket there yes yeah yes yes that one's fairly tough is he the one that wears the belt the bear helmet yes and you, okay if you decide to go there you'd better be better equipped than what you are right now no pipe pistols got it well you also may want a little bit better armor and stuff like that too because those those guys in that area are tough You have no arms. Just give up. <laughs> Meanwhile, the the ghoul's like, I don't understand words. I'm coming at you anyway. Yeah. 
damn zombies. Yeah, it's, just, it's just like it's just like in Monty Python when that uh, guy cuts, cuts the Black Knight's arm off, and it's like, I just cut your arm off. Are you ready to give up? And he says, No, it's just a flesh wound. Come on, let's go. Right? Oh, you found a 50 caliber bolt action pistol already. You should pick that up. Oh, I did. Don't you worry about that. I think this is actually the terminal entry we were talking about. Yep. Yes. You're right. Uh, let's see. Eventually, if you, could, if you could collect enough 50 caliber ammunition, you can put a scope on that in the stock, and that will be a fairly decent sniper weapon, too, right? Oh, absolutely. Jared needs to get his head out of his ass. Sorry, bud. <clears throat> now, I didn't want to go out through the other way because I like this exit. Besides, I'm not really missing anything out the other exit that I actually would want. So. Yeah, just watch out for that guy with the mini nuke. Oh, I, uh... One of my favorite things to do is to save up enough money to buy the special mini nuke from, what's his name, in Diamond City, Arturo, and I like to shoot no. him with a mini nuke. <laughs> that shoots two. Okay, well, just make sure that you don't forget and end up getting shot by that guy first. No, I'll, I'll do my best. But first, I'm going back up here, because we left quite a few dead bodies up here. And I, I guess the person I shot here must have fallen. Yeah, he's right, right. there. Hmm? He turned into a pile of ash. Oh, yeah. I, I meant, like, I couldn't remember if the person fell or if they were just down here and I just ended up shooting them. They had a pool cue, so they're probably down there. Hey, look. Fallons. Oh, have you seen my armor or no? Here, check it out. It's pink and white, like ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Strawberry and vanilla. You can't mess with Mr. In Between. You can't go through that fence there. No, you, no, you through, can't. You have to go through there. Yeah. Yep. Such a positive guy that they caught me. Do you count as a drug dealer in this game if you have a bunch of drugs and sell them to other drug dealers? Uh, or just if you give I drugs to Mom Murphy? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I actually don't sell most so, of the drugs uh, that I find or make. Station. I uh, take we, them. We don't really make any <laughs> That's fair. And, uh, there are, because uh, especially uh, in survival well, mode, uh, you know, people like having yeah, I take all the drugs on hard. Yes. It just makes the game yeah. easier. Yeah, exactly, having the, the instant buff to health. Because, like, when you use a stim pack in uh, any mode except survival, well, the results are almost instant. Like, if you use the stim pack right now, it would probably restore most most of your health bar from where you are right now instantly, right? Whereas if, if you're in this condition in survival and you use a stim pack, it might be two or three minutes before your health recovers you know, to the same degree, right? To yeah. off quote Sonic the Hedgehog, that's too slow. Yeah, and so uh, you know, drugs like especially the buff out based drugs become oh, much shit. more important uh, in survival because they are the ones that will give you that extra. I think it's sixty five or sixty points of instant health, basically. Like you see how fast your health is recovering here. Well. You, you can't oh. get that kind of health recovery rate in survival right now. Yeah, you gotta crank it first before you shoot. <laughs> I To be fair, I was just using a pipe pistol. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta remember every time you unequip this gun and then re-equip it, you have to reload it again. Every time, that's one of the drawbacks to the, to the uh, laser musket. Where everything's the same as it was. 
tendency for extreme close encounters like that. I I favor a shotgun for that kind of stuff. Oh, absolutely. But I put my shotgun away. But you know, I'm I don't hate the uh, the pipe pistol anymore. I'm gonna go back and see about customizing a little bit. See what we can do, vanilla style. Yeah. And then I'll take a look and see if I can find a mod to uh, get a little bit better on it. Okay. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's not necessarily about the increasing the power of them. It's uh, no. I just mean make it a little bit better. Is yeah, all. it's increasing the variety of things that you can do with it. And yes, that mod will also make pipe gun type weapons uh, more useful for longer. And we keep doing something I know hurts you internally. We're fast traveling. <laughs> oh, that doesn't bother me any. Okay. Like I said, I don't fast travel when I'm playing because I play in survival. And in survival, fast travel is disabled, right? So you... You actually can't fast travel in survival. I was going to ask is, you... Which is why I have to hike everywhere, right? Yeah, I kicked them. No kidding. So we've been talking. If I could we fast travel in survival, so I probably would. You can count on us. Is there, a, like, a special... Uh, laser rifle? What do you mean? Like, a legendary one. Like, set legendary one. Well, you have a random chance to pick up a legendary weapon of almost any type in this game. Even some of the really rare ones, like uh, railroad rifles and stuff like that, right? You know... Like, any any vanilla weapon that you find in the, in the game here, you've got a chance to find a legendary of it. But, uh... uh you know, of course, some things are more common than others, right? Yeah, but I've made it to level 120, and I've never come across a railroad rifle. But I've never gotten far enough in the story for it to matter, I guess. Oh, well, I can tell you where you can find one. It's really Where's close that? to where you are right now. Really? Okay, well, it was. It's a, It's at Bedford Station. Oh. Right? If you get up to uh, fairly close to level 20... Then, uh, if you go to Bedford Station and you look in the box cars that are just uh, on the um, drive-in side of that tower, railroad tower, you'll find mm -hmm. a railroad rifle in there. That's we'll one of the places. Up. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know what level you are right now, but uh, you might. I'm level 15. But but at a certain level, of, uh, around level 20, uh, it'll spawn. A, uh, a railroad rifle there, right? And the railroad rifle is uh, an extremely effective short-range weapon, right? It's not so good at longer ranges because uh, the railroad spikes actually take uh, a couple of seconds to get there if you're shooting at something that's quite far away. And so, uh, you know, it's harder to hit distant targets, especially if they're moving, because the projectiles go slow enough that the target, if it's moving, might move out of the way by the time the, the spike gets there, right? Mm-hmm. But at close range, there the, the, that rifle is extremely effective. It's a very high damage weapon, and uh, if you like to shoot limbs with it, it'll actually, uh, like, like uh, sever limbs and stuff like that, right? With a pipe gun, uh, probably the best thing to put on it is glow sights because you're probably using it at close range and the, uh, uh, the, like the reflex sight is kind of a, well, actually, I don't know if you have reflex sight available for the, yeah. The reflex sight is kind of crap for the pipe gun. The glow sights are better, right? Mm hmm You know, unless you're going to be using it for shooting distant targets, then, you, then you'd put a scope. Well, on. I mean, it's got a range of 254. Yeah. But that doesn't mean anything. All that is is it's a... Uh, an expression of approximately how far a projectile will travel uh, before you start to lose damage from it, right? 
It's not actually a literal uh, uh, straight across hey, Mama. Uh, How are you getting along? Uh, range in any meaningful yeah, units that you can relate to. I actually saw a, a video that a guy put on YouTube one time where he explained how the, uh, the, the firearm ranges work and what they mean. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, one yard is, uh, I believe, 64... Or, or uh, yeah, I think one yard is is sixty four range units, okay. <laughs> and uh, what he did is he had a pipe gun, and he was uh, shooting at a stationary target that he put behind the the main house at Sanctuary. He just somehow he managed to get it so that a settler would just stand there so he could shoot the settler. Yeah. And uh, and he was firing, you know, those rocks that are just over by the red rocket there. Mm -hmm. He was he was standing on top of those rocks, and shooting at that settler. And he had a thing set up somehow that uh, would tell him in the uh, range units how far away that settler was and how much damage his gun did. And uh, at that range, he was shooting approximately. 9,000 distance units, right? Like Holy that's shit. the distance that he was shooting. And he was only getting like half damage from the, from every shot that he fired at that range. That's because insane. The way that, because the way that uh, the the game is designed, that range is basically an, it, it's, it's a uh, abstract expression of how far away you can expect to be able to shoot a target before you experience what's called damage drop-off. Well, yeah, your, you can only gun, shoot certain gun, weapons so far. Yeah, where, so if you have a pipe gun that does, uh, you know, 14 points of damage, well, then outside of a certain range, it will actually do less damage, right? And uh, that damage drop-off is uh, maxed out at 50% for most, most firearms. But for shotguns, it's actually ninety percent. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The the damage drop off for shotguns outside of the range is ninety percent. But you can't really tell what that range is uh, in game because, like I said, that guy used some kind of uh, special software that he either wrote himself or or got from somewhere else. That actually you know told that him settlement you sent me how help? far away the target was each time he shot it, minute. right? That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. <laughs> and the way that I figured out ranges in this guns. game is uh, basically by uh, once we have... you know eyeballing told... the distance across one standard floor tile and comparing that to the height of a character. So if you get if you get a concrete floor block, you know those those floor blocks. And if you place one on a flat surface, like one of the uh, uh, house foundations or something after you clear the, the destroyed house, and then you stand... Yeah. Uh, measure the number of floor tiles in distance and then you multiply that by 10 feet and then divide it by 3 to figure out how many yards, right? Mm hmm And your double-barreled shotgun with your short barrel has an effective range of about uh, two floor tiles, give or take 20 feet, like, uh, say, uh, around 7 yards, 7 or 8 yards. Anything outside of that, and most of the pellets that you fire will miss. Just drop off, yeah. Well, not just drop off, but also shotguns have a pellet spread that's quite wide. Yeah, and, it's meant uh, for extremely mid-range yeah, and short range. Basically, yeah, basically you have to be at kissing distance if you're going to hit the same target with every pellet, right? That's like in the other game I was playing. There's a shotgun in the game that has a sniper rifle scope on it. Yeah, and everyone well, had the same question, who would do this? Yeah. Yeah, well, the thing is, though, they didn't represent shotguns accurately in, in Fallout 4 either, because 
if you uh, look up some of the YouTubers who are firearm enthusiasts, mm -hmm. who do their, who do, uh, you know, like they have their own channels and they do things like they'll demonstrate a particular firearm and shoot at targets and stuff like that. Well, uh, like in Fallout 4, in theory, the uh, shotgun is actually a 12 gauge shotgun that fires eight pellets, right? And you can see that if you walked up to one of your houses in, in Sanctuary there from about three, four tiles away and shot into the wall, you'd see eight little dimples in the wall in a pattern, right? And uh, anyways, uh, this one guy who was firing a 12-gauge shotgun demonstrated that even out as far as 50 or 60 yards, uh, the spread is not so wide that you would not be able to hit a man-sized target with at least... Uh, five or six of the pellets, right? Whereas uh, in Fallout 4, if you shot a man-sized target from that far away, you might not hit him with any of the pellets because that's how they, they, they greatly exaggerated the amount of spread that a shotgun has, right? <clears throat> and if you want to demonstrate that, you can just grab your double-barrel shotgun and walk up to one of your buildings here and just fire around into the side of the building. Uh-oh, are you still there? I'm still here. Yeah, okay. Huh. I was just thinking, this might be a good time to just stop up just for tonight. Just got a few little things we gotta do around the house here before I tiptoe off to Slumberland. Ah, uh, gotta look in on the baby or what? Oh, absolutely. That and uh, Daddy needs sleep too. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I can't just run it. on uh, all the all the blood I just got from all the fictional dead people we just shot. Yeah, well, you probably don't get a lot of sleep these days either. No, it's few and far between. Worry. Don't worry, it gets better. That's what they say. Until yeah. next time, I have been the Sweater Vest Gamer. And you still are. And I am <laughs> Sandman99. Who will be in the next episode of this series. And next time, kids, we're going to try some new mods and see what's up. All right, kids, talk to you later. As soon as it lets me stop the stream. <laughs> There you go.